Good sir. Thou risked thy life to save mine, though honor did not demand it. I hereby vow to be the one to save thee next time. As such, wilt thou allow me into thy service? I am most deeply honored. I shall do as thou biddest, fine sir, as thy steadfast sword and shield. And once Barbatos is overthrown, this land shall finally know freedom. The end is close at hand. But first, there is something I would like to present thee. I shall strike out for thy tower and bid thee join anon. Yeah, okay. Well, it should be much easier for you to scout monsters here now, though it sounds like we should head back to Rose Hill first. Is there anything here I want to scout? Good question, me. No monsters live in the area. Oh, right, control room. That makes sense. I did look up how to get a knight errant. We could, we could scout the one, that that's the Giganto one. To fuse a Knight Errant, though, we need a rank D monster of the material and demon family. Which could take a while to get. But that's what we need to get it. It's a really small Mandrake Major. So I'm gonna try to get a rank D demon and rank D material so we can get a Knight Errant. And then we can get like a, a Hunter mech. We can get like a rank D mech. We have the hunter mech. We can get like the higher rank mech. Excuse me, pardon me. I wanna maybe try to like uh, scout one of these jinxters before leaving. The middle echelon didn't really have much new stuff. We got the. We already have a clockwork bird. We, there's not really much new enemies. It was a lot of the same ones from the lower echelon. I don't really need to spend too much time doing that. Bum, bum, bum. Level 21 for the Dragon Slime, nice. Onward and upward. And we go. such a long way back the reason i'm not fast traveling is because i'd have to it's not worth it if i fast travel i have to fast travel i have to go through a loading screen i have to enter the fort of nox which then gives me another loading screen so this is actually the better call to try and get a jinxter to just go through the dungeon backwards although i'm starting to think it's not worth it but i honestly thought it'd be a lot shorter to find a jinxter here but it's taking a little longer than i expected so maybe fast traveling would have been the better call. Also, Gremlin, I don't have you, right? I should probably scout you, just to get you. Now. My team is too busted to weaken the enemy. This is the negative of having a busted team. I would have to, like, have one of them attack and then defend with the others. Like, the Dragon Slime is simply too OP if it just goes for the Lightning Storm. Okay, more Gremlins. Let's try this again. This time I'm gonna have, like, one monster attack and the others, like, defend. So, let's have... Let's have the Jumping Jackal multi-fist. And then you all defend. Although we don't have Hell Nino, so... Cannabox can probably help in attacking, but I want to see how this does first. 
Because that honestly might be enough to just scout. Yeah, yeah over 50%. One of us now. So now I just need the Jinxter and we'll be good. I'm starting to think I really should have fast traveled. Really starting to think that. Do I have lethal armor? I do. It's just Jinxter. You are really big. I don't care so much about getting large monsters. Dude, you know why I'm just fast traveling. Where are these stupid Jinxsters? I can't find them. I think I know a quick way to get to them from the entrance. Maybe the weather changed and I can't find them anymore, but that'd be weird. I don't think that really works in buildings. I think dungeons, you can find the same enemies. I don't think it really goes like that, or maybe it does. I don't know. I'm not sure. Best way is probably this way. That large lethal armor is in my way. It's gonna have to die. Never mind. Oh, wait. This one caught me. Here, get my, get my easy win button here. Go this way? Yeah, the Blinksters are here. The Jinxsters. I keep calling them the Blinksters, but they're the Jinxsters because of the whole, like, you know, red color scheme. I <laughs> just, like, jump on them as he sleeps. Have you normal attack? Have you normal attack? You guys defend. I shall now scout you. Now. <laughs> Not Jinxter 1. Not Jinxter 1. What are your skill trees? Maybe I can add you. Magic Maven? Pretty good. I think a monster with boom would be nice. Let's uh get rid of this. I don't know. Get rid of this imp. It does have XAML, but still. Hopefully the Hypothurium will have it soon. Zoom. I also don't even think we need to synthesize for a hot minute. Again, I'm gonna try my best... ...to... ...get the demon and the... ...other family thing, but... ...we don't need to synthesize for a good long while. Turn to Rose Hill? Yes, indeed. I know you're playing Dragon Quest Monsters, but OMG, Kulsa 2's ending. I know, right? Kulsa 2's ending was a, was a wild ride. Again, I remember that stream. That's one of the most memorable streams I've done. Not only because it was, like, one of my longest, but it, like, very memorable. It was crazy. Back in Rose Hill. Meowdy there, partner. Have I got news for you? 
There's another tourney taking place in Endor right now. But not for monsters. For humans. That reminds me, we do have to go take care of Rank D. Maybe he's going to be like, you have to take care of Rank D. I was going to do that anyway. Which is just perfect for you, my friend. I believe you're keeping your eyes peeled for heroic types. And what better place to go looking than a fur-flinging contest like this? Ah, aren't I kind? Furnishing you with all this fine information. I'm categorically the best feline friend you could ever hope to find. Now, you'd best pad along to Endor and sign up as quick as you can. The early cat catches the mouse and all that. Yeah, okay. I got the most broken team. I'm gonna decimate. You have no idea. Back to Endor. Also, can I see Elena already? Give me some Dragon Quest IV characters. I know they're gonna be in the game, because like, you know, they kind of, they showed silhouettes of them. The, the Xena Dragon was like, hey, the hero and his uh, comrades, etc. So I know they're gonna be in the game, just show me them already. Hello there. Yes, hello. Can you write your name here, please? Oh, this isn't the Rank D, this is something different. He did say for humans, but how's this gonna work if I can't, like... Now, you've signed up as the Manslayer, I see. <laughs> Would you care to explain that? It's a nickname you've had since you were small, you say. Well, it has a certain something, I'll admit. No, you have no idea. I'm off to support you from the stands. <laughs> No cat calls, I promise. I shove you, you into are. a bucket. All done. Break a leg out there. How is this gonna work? I'm curious. Do I gotta fight Elena? Proclaim the Endor Tourney open. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for. The Festival of Fisticuffs, the Party of Pugilism, the Carnival of Combat begins. And without further ado, let me welcome our first fighter, the man who puts the dead into deadpan. Ladies and gentlemen, the silver-haired scrapper, the mighty manslayer! And who will he face? None other than the formidably focused, hard-hitting Attila the Hulk! It's time for the first match to commence. Let's brawl! Okay, yeah, because we can't fight with Sorrow. Far Sorrow defeated his opponent one after the next. This is so boring. Like, I know the game is a monster wrangler, but this just... I will say, one of the things I kind of hope they did with this game, I think it's fine that they went for the monster collector, but, like, this also makes me think, like, what if this was a game that, like, had you play as Sorrow using his sword? Like, somewhat like an ease game or something. That'd be kind of cool. Until finally... Such grace, such poise, such a succession of beatific beatdowns. Can this unflappable scrapper go all the way? Oh, you know what would have been really cool? Have this be like, um, SMT. Like, Sorrow can, like, have abilities and fight. Again, I know the story's, like, they, they made it a reason why Sorrow can't fight monsters. But, like, get rid of all that and be like, yeah, Sorrow fights alongside his monsters. That I would be down for, too. If they went, like, the SMT route. Overall, the game is fun. I'm not trying to say, like, the game sucks because of what they went with. It's just, like, part of me does wish, like, hey, what if they actually went this direction instead? But the game is still very fun. I'm still loving it. Beautifully fought, oh mighty manslayer. 
Your martial mastery has moved us. Making his way into the grand finals is the deliciously malicious manslayer. But who will face him there? Let's find out. Now, if you'd kindly wait while the others duke it out for the other final place. Elena. Or maybe they'll have us meet the hero here. That'd be kind of cool. Because I know the hero is going to be in this game. I think his name is Solo. He's going to be in the game. They had him in the trailer and it was like a big deal. Hearty congratulations on reaching the finals. Your trouble, even without your monsters, eh? Oh, huge muse, my friend. Prick up your ears and listen to this. Apparently, Tsar Stepan, the ruler of Samoxva, had a dream about the return of the Lord of the Underworld. Zamoxma is Elena's kingdom, I'm pretty sure. Please, I want to meet Elena. Please, I'm begging you. He told his advisors, and now the whole kingdom is abuzz with rumors. Now that the cat is out of the bag, I'm worried that the human folk might track down the Lord of the Underworld themselves. That would be a total catastrophe. We need to act right now and do something about the pesky populace of Samoxva. Yeah, bet. I honestly thought they were going to have us do more middle echelons, but maybe we're getting the story rolling right now. I'd be down for that. <sighs> Dear me. So he really did it. The poor people of Samoxva. They did nothing to deserve this. When I think of them imprisoned in Diabolic Hall, it's all too much. Okay, then. Back to Rose Hill or Diabolic Hall? Where am I going? Probably Rose Hill. <laughs> Sorry, Yuzaga Don. Yeah, it'd be neat if they went the SMT route. That would have been an interesting idea to have Sorrow fight alongside the monsters. My liege, as avowed, I am here to enter thy service. Please, take this. Okay, so we are going to go to another middle echelon. I love purple. Thar receives a piece of purple travelite. With it, new locales are open to thee. A fine chance to bolster thy forces with ever stronger monsters. Locales? Multiple? I am certain it will be of great aid in thy quest to defeat Randolfo the Tyrant. Hmm. If I may be so bold, having surveyed this village, its defenses seem rather scant. For that reason, I shall remain here to protect Lady Rose as her sworn shield. You guys need to invest in like a barrier of uh, a barrier blast here or something. Alright, well let's go see what echelons opened up. Trust me, the candy place is gonna have a middle echelon. They're gonna they're they're probably gonna have like echelons for all the areas. They're they're lowered echelons. They even said in the beginning of the game, like, oh yeah, this is only a part of the uh of the circle. And you get more as you progress the game. So they're they're all gonna get it. New piece of traveling in the magic circle. New locations available to visit. Which one is it? It's the Circle of Conquest. Oh wait, we just got all of them now? Okay, so you did just give us all the middle echelons now. Interesting. I don't know if there's like a recommended order of when I should do these. I'm gonna go to the Circle of Indulgence because I wanna get the I wanna get the sugar rush vibes again. 
little Wreck-It Ralph reference. And we'll see if the enemies are too strong. We've arrived at a new circle of Nadiria. I mean, my team is broken, so if the area is a little strong, then maybe I'll still be fine. 